Hello, and once again, it's a joy to greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching this video log, where I'm sharing again what God is doing here among us in Barcelona and Castell Bisbal, a small town near the big city. In this video log of May, I'm going to sh share with you what we have been doing, how we feel, and what we're going to do. And once again, we appreciate your prayers and your love and support. For two months, we have been here in our house. Well, more or less. Yet, we have not stopped, as you well know, of doing things, helping out, sharing the gospel, and helping people. Actually, it has been very stressful. Some of our neighbors have died for COVID-19. We have seen the families, we have filled the burden of the hearts of the people. We have also one family in our congregation that uh, the mother was sent to the hospital. This has been a time for me as a pastor to try to reach our congregation with all our heart, our desire, to be a blessing and encouragement for all of them. I've been calling them trying to find out how they were doing. We actually have been Zoom, um, I think you call it Zoom in English, is that program where you can see each other through the internet. We are using a new word now, zoom gregation. No congregation, but zoom gregation. Every day at 7 o'clock, our congregation have been gathering together we have read the Bible, we have shared our burdens, and we have prayed together. And it has been a tremendous blessing. I am really thankful and happy that we have been able to do this. Yet, uh, we have sometimes to leave our own house in order to go and reach people that were having real problems. Some of our, pro uh, of our people have lost their jobs. And they have been really in a very, very big needs, economical needs. So we have been trying to reach them with food, helping them sometimes with money to pay bills. And uh, it has been a burden. We know that we have not been the only church that has encountered this new situation. I am calling pastors in the area, trying to help each other out. I have been working with a program for children and maybe you have seen myself doing like a pirate and for two months we have been helping out the little ones. The Bible Institute has really grown during these two months. Now we have more students in our uh, webpage imol.fundacionbiblica.com and we are so thankful that the Lord is using this new way of teaching. Our YouTube channel is also growing. I never thought that this would be a part of our ministry, but more and more streaming and teaching through internet or even YouTube has become an important uh, part of the ministry. How are we feeling? We are doing fine, although I will not lie to you, I can feel the burden, the tiredness, Sometimes even the sadness is a weird feeling. I have been dealing with so many problems, so many discouragements, so many hard situations during these two months that I can feel the, the heat of all of it. But the Lord is, is good to us and we are rejoicing. He has changed our plans and I've talked about this before. Now, in this month of May, we were supposed to be in Peru and Chile uh, preaching the Word of God in a conference. We are here in our house. <laughs> the back, uh, what I have there, is just a green screen, a chroma key. But we're still here at the house. To the date, I do not know what is going to happen in August. We are supposed to go and uh, visit our churches, our supporting churches. We are praying, looking to the Lord, 
waiting in Him, and we know that the Lord will do His perfect will. That is very encouraging. I have also been working with several projects that I look forward to apply. One of them, going back to reach those little towns in Catalonia that don't have any testimony, any church, any place where the gospel is preached. Years ago, we prayed for a van that we could use for the ministry. The Lord answered that prayer with a no, we never had a van. And following my way of working, I said, well, Lord, you have not provided a van for us, but let me use what I have. Let me put what I have to your service. And uh, I came up with an idea to be used when we travel to these little towns. I have done a video explaining that idea, how we have changed our car into a camper van. <laughs> Watch the other video, you will like it, I'm sure. Once again, we appreciate so much your prayers and support. We are here serving the Lord because you are there serving the Lord. You are holding the ropes for us. Spain, Catalonia still needs the Lord. I cannot allow this time of change to stop us working and serving the Lord. I have many ideas in my mind that I will do in this near future, but we still need your prayers. This video log is a way to express our gratitude to all of you for your support and your prayers. I know we will see each other again, here, there, or in the air. Hopefully, maybe very soon, we will see each other, we will be able to embrace and to once again rejoice together. Meanwhile, keep on praying for us as we are preaching the gospel in the needed country of Spain. God bless you and thank you.